Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on connection establishment phase of transmission control protocol. So in the introduction for this session, let me just make you recall the features of the transmission control protocol or the services provided by the transmission control protocol. One of the feature that was mentioned, one of the service that was mentioned in the services list was what uh, transmission control protocol is a connection oriented protocol. So this aspect connection oriented I have explained in that session just trying to make you recall before we start sending before the client starts sending the data it wants to establish a connection with the server. So the basic idea here is like the client is asking the server I am are you ready to take the data from me then the server has to acknowledge that statement then the uh, client will say I am sending the data. Basically, these three are the uh, statements in the connection establishment. There are three signals that get exchanged and we say this connection establishment phase as three way handshaking mechanism. So I wanted to show the continuity of the sequence number that is used for the further uh, phases also like if you begin with a particular sequence number in the connection establishment, then how do you relate in the next phase data transfer, then how do you continue in the connection termination phase. So my basic idea was like I wanted to carry out with one particular sequence number and end with one uh, and end in continuation with that sequence number only the last phase. That is the reason I have put all the signals here in one single diagram. But si since I wanted to show all the, uh, all the three phases in the diagram, I have just divided this whiteboard into two halves you can see that you start uh, in uh, analyzing in this manner These are the signals that are getting exchanged between the client and the server and then you continue with this okay so this is a continuation of uh, the second part of the diagram is here basically i wanted to tell you the first part of the diagram is in the first half of the board and the second part of the diagram or that is the continuation of the diagram is in on the second half of the board so in the connection establishment phase, what are the three signals that are getting exchanged? I have put here in the first half of the diagram. Also, I'm indicating with the different uh, colorings to make you differentiate between the different phases as well as the different types of segments. So in connection oriented, basically, if you try to recall, I'll just tell you three, ha three way handshaking mechanism. Suppose if this is the client and if this is the server, in connection establishment, the client will send the uh, signal to the server or the segment you can say the client sends the segment to the server and this segment is called as the with the flag called as with the flag SYN set. The server will acknowledge this SYN and it will also try to synchronize and it will set its flag SYN to 1 and also it will try to give the ACK for this SYN. Then the client will send the next segment because whatever SYN this server has sent to this it wants to acknowledge. So what is that basically first SYN goes in this direction SYN plus ACK comes in this direction then ACK goes in this direction. So this is what I wanted to tell you there are three segments that are from the client SYN from, from the client to the server SYN from the server to the client SYN and ACK and from the client to the server again ACK. So let us see because you, you cannot just simply write SYN, SYN plus ACK. You have to show that segment with the related field values in the segment. Now related field values are what the different flags that are there. You have seen six different flags. So if it is a uh, this one uh, segment that is which is not carrying the data it, it is a se it is a segment belonging to the connection establishment phase what is the related flag that has to get set here so that has to get indicated here and also the acknowledgement and other field values that are required so all those things also should get indicated in the segment basically now in this session you just try to concentrate from this part that is from the client and here i have drawn with a green line uh, green color font a line so this is your connection establishment also i have written here in red color ink this is the connection establishment phase these three uh, seg uh, segments that are getting exchanged so in the connection establishment phase you can see here i have written one passive open and towards the client side it is written as active open passive open why are we writing is the server is basically what it is always the server is running it is performing it is providing the services so it is always on 
but whereas the client whenever wants to send a request to the server it has to become active so we say it is a active open at the client side whereas passive open at the so server is already what you can say it is in the on state it is in the functioning functioning state now the client is sending what a segment so this segment is carrying a sequence number and the sequence number is 8000 now this sequence number will be chosen randomly from the client side the segment tcp segment format has got a field called as sequence number which for which 32 bits are meant so 2 to the power of 32 you can have a number in this range 0 to 2 to the power of 32 minus 1 so in this range randomly a number is chosen as a sequence number so the client has chosen the sequence number here in this example i am taking sequence number as 8000 and it is sending the what the this uh, segment to the server and this and in that particular segment if you notice the we call this segment as a syn segment because here you can see this syn flag is set the syn flag is set and you call it as what syn segment syn segment this is what to synchronize with the sequence numbers so normally once the connection establishment phase starts it has to decide a sequence number and syn is basically to synchronize with the sequence numbers with the opposite party that's why syn we call this segment as syn segment now for this syn okay the server has to reply with an acknowledgement so what so here the server is responding with another segment it has written what acknowledgement number 8001 so you can relate now this one with this see this is an acknowledgement to this particular sequence number if this is 8000 the server is responding with 8001 so this is an acknowledgement also server has chosen a sequence number as 15000 because it has to also start using the sequence number in further uh, phases you will see how the sequence number values are changed so it has randomly chosen the very first sequence number here as 15000 and in its segment it is these values are mentioned what is that the ack flag is set the syn flag is set why these two flags are set first and foremost thing is this is an acknowledgement to the previous segment which is sent from the client so ack it is an acknowledgement ack has to get set and it also wants to synchronize with the what the sequence numbers from the opposite party that's why it has set this syn also and it is advertising its window size so rwnd receiver window size already i discussed in one of my previous sessions please refer in detail i have mentioned it is advertising what rwnd the receiving window size its capacity the buffer capacity so that's why here it has just for the in this example it is mentioning 5000 bytes that's why what we are doing is we are right we are saying that this is an syn plus ack segment this is just syn segment and next to the third segment that will be sent from the uh, client because now the server has included syn part then for that it has to acknowledge so the client will acknowledge with what look here the sequence number chosen at the server is 15000 the acknowledgement for this 15000 will be 15001 so you can see now the relation isn't it 15000 so these two I, I wanted to relate to like in the previous one no 8001 is an acknowledgement to 8000 here 15001 is an acknowledgement to 15000 so this is what ack value what about sequence number the client has chosen sequence number 8001 now previous segment it has chosen 8000 here in this segment it is choosing 8001 now here you have to remember uh, two or th yes three important concepts a segment which is not carrying data a segment which is not carrying data that is a sin segment which is not carrying data will consume one sequence number the meaning of this sentence consume one sequence number is now if 8000 is used as a sequence number it will not be used in the further segments it is already consumed now you cannot use again 8000 so that means a sin segment which does not carry any data will consume one sequence number and you have to remember the second important point a sin and ack segment which does not carry data will also consume one sequence number now the server has used what 15000 so once again it cannot use 15000 it is already consumed but a segment ack segment 
which is not carrying data will not will not consume okay an ack segment which is not carrying any data will not consume any sequence number so this is what i wanted to tell you 8000 cannot be used again but 8001 if it is used here even in further segments when it starts the second segment it can make use of 8001 the reason is this is an ack segment an ack segment which does not carry any data okay an ack segment which does not carry any data the sequence number will be what reused will not get consumed means it can be reused that's the reason we'll see how it will be reused now basically you have to remember in the connection establishment phase these three segments so we said three way handshaking mechanism so here towards your left it, i have shown this exchange of segments over a timeline okay at the client side you can see the client process and the client transport layer at the server side you can see the server process and the tra server transport layer the passive open will be there because the server is always running active open the client wants to make a request to the server because the client is interested in sending some data to the server before that it is trying to establish the connection and first one segment will come from the client to the server the server will respond okay the next segment then once again another segment will come from the client to the server now i have explained very clearly what are these segments called as the first one is called as syn wherein the sequence number will be consumed okay it cannot be reused the second segment from the server which is coming syn plus ack any time syn and ack without data will also consume one sequence number and ack okay will not consume any sequence number that means this 8001 can be reused in the next segment so and also to make it very clear the distinction between re uh, the seg uh, sequence number can be reused and cannot be reused i have indicated with some red color font here this red color font indicates the sequence number cannot be reused it is already consumed whereas this green color indicates the seg sequence number which is mentioned in this segment can be reused so at this point what the connection establishment phase ends this is just the connection establishment phase next what is the next phase because once it establishes the connection it will start sending the data so this is all about the connection establishment in my next session i shall explain you about the data transfer phase hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care